Good morning. I am hosting the Drive to School podcast. I used to be Pastor Goodman. I still am, but I used to be too. Uh, joining me today, <laughs> the president of Higher Things, uh, Pastor Dwayne Bomsch. How are you today, sir? Doing fantastic. And yourself? Doing awesome. Thanks so much for joining us. I know that this is the busiest time of year, so obviously you have time to do a podcast uh, for the, the the drive to school. Um, but you you carve some time out of your day anyway, even though we are staring down Holy Week. It's 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 about to be Palm Sunday in church. Uh, what am I going to see there? It gets a little bit different now, doesn't it? Yeah, we've spent the last five weeks sort of backing off, backing away. Uh, muting things a little bit, you know, there's the A word has been banned, banished, uh, uh, the, all the glory. Hallelujah. Let's be very clear. Cause this yeah, is a kid podcast. I was just, yeah. We don't <laughs> say what word it is. Yeah. Hallelujah has gone away. Um, it was, it was put to bed right before Ash Wednesday and, and a lot of the parts of the liturgy have, have been subdued, uh, chopped off, you know, abbreviated, um, to sort of take down um, the, 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 jo- the joy a little bit, muted. It's not that it's gone, because again, the, these have been the Sundays in Lent, not the Sundays of Lent. So, um, you know, we have the, every Sunday is a resurrection, right? Every Sunday is an Easter. So even in the season of Lent, we still celebrate Jesus' resurrection on Sunday, even if the rest of the days of the week are, are uh, somewhat muted. And so, so all of that's kind of gone away, but now we're starting to warm up. You know, we're getting ready for, for next Sunday for Easter. With We have a palm procession probably, um, or there are palms all over church. Um, you may have palm crosses or something like that that, that, uh, that somebody in, in church makes that, that are, are handed out. Um, we're going to have uh, all of our littles with palm branches in hand uh, come in with uh, uh, for the procession during the, the, the processional hymn. Um, and so the focus is changing a little bit because now, uh, like, like the Gospel of Luke, the, the, the Gospel for, for Series C has been, everything uh, has been Jesus coming to Jerusalem. And why is Jesus coming to Jerusalem? We're about to find out this week. It's all going to happen. Um, and so <clears throat> we start with, with um, the processional gospel, which comes from John's gospel. So we have two gospels going on uh, for the day. And it's the triumphal entry uh, from, from John's gospel that he comes in. Um, and and it's it's an interesting interesting thing. The Pharisees are there at the end of that 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 text about Jesus coming in. Um, look, uh, you see that you're gaining nothing. Look, the whole world has gone after him. Uh, that all of the people in Jerusalem are focused on Jesus now as he's coming into the city. And so that's kind of what our procession does. Is it is that we sort of re relive that moment of Jesus riding into Jerusalem on on the donkey. We've got the palm branches for that. Um, I typically don't ride a donkey in a church on Palm Sunday for, for <laughs> cleanups rough <laughs> for um, many reasons. <laughs> but but there, it's enough to say here's a procession with some palms coming in. Well, but it, it's not to reenact so much as to to revisit. Um, we we don't need a new procession every Sunday. No. We don't need another triumphal entry. But we are a part of the other one because we're the ones who need. Hosanna, we, we're the one that needs the saving because Hosanna means save us, right? Right. And so I need that too. Save me too, not just them. Right. Yeah. And, and that and it sort of puts us in, you know, we don't reenact it, but we do remember it. So we're, we, it, it puts us into that place of we are the ones who see the Lord Jesus and know and cry out to him for salvation. Fantastic. Yeah. And so then later in the service, the God, you're, the, you know, the interesting thing is, you know, this used to always be called uh, Palm Sunday back in the mm-hmm. old days, right? Palm Sunday. And then it's sort of in the last number of years taken on this sort of this Passion new, Sunday. yeah, Palm Sunday slash Passion, Sunday of the Passion or Passion Sunday. And, and you have the opportunity to hear the entire Passion narrative. So this, again, Luke's gospel, you, you may hear all of Luke 22 and 23, which starts... Um, off with with Judas's betrayal and goes all the way through 
um, through chapter 23 to, um, to the crucifixion and Jesus' burial. Hmm. And which sort of gives you the whole big picture view, which you get to come back then on Thursday and, and Friday. And if you have services throughout all of Holy Week, you know, you get a little bite of it each day leading up to, again, Thursday and Holy Thursday and Good, and Good Friday with really hammering home those important texts, um, which, which, is, which is a fantastic opportunity uh, to sort of see the whole thing there again all at, all at once. I love it. It's, it's then um, it, it's not an either or it's a both, uh, because if, if all we have is Jesus walking into Jerusalem, he, he's not done yet. And um, the, the cross that it, it's, it's for every week, it, it's for you, it's for your sins. And so Palm Sunday is going to kick off the whole of, of what centers Christianity. It's the death and resurrection of Jesus. Um, you should go to church. Uh, this is a big one. And uh, I would highly encourage you, hear the gospel, receive the gifts. Uh, this is a place where God's not only letting you cry out Hosanna, but actually answering the prayer. Absolutely. Yeah. Save us, save us. And where is the salvation? You know, if there is a, if there is a procession, you're probably going to go by the font. Hmm. And what happens in the font? You are made God's child. He saves you in that water. And as you're processing in, you may make a right or a left turn at the communion rail, which what's there, but the very body and blood of Jesus that's crucified later in the week, given for you for the forgiveness of your sins. And what else is up in the front there? You've got a lectern or a pulpit or both. And what comes from them? The very words of God, which speak to you and tell you who you are as God's child, as the one that he's come to save. It's all there. That's so cool. That's uh, that's worth going to. We're gonna we're gonna have to go receive some Jesus this week. Absolutely, President Bomsch, Pastor Bomsch, all of the titles Bomsch. Thanks so much for joining us today in the Drive to School podcast. It's my pleasure. Blessed Holy Week to you, and to you as well. Thanks.